A man's home is his castle. But for the 19th century Swiss adventurer Henri de Buren, his family chateau in Neuchâtel was the last place he wanted to be. Born into Swiss nobility, de Buren grew up in the Chateau Vaumarcus in western Switzerland and had ambitions of becoming a botanist. He was set to become a baron like his father, but when class structure broke down in Switzerland in the 1800s, de Buren lost his title and became a simple landowner. And so began his quest to find his new place in the world. Inspired by descriptions of South America's rich flora and fauna by German naturalist Alexander von Humboldt, de Buren embarked on what would become a two-year trip of the Americas. On the way, he would meet historical figures, collect botanical specimens, and witness a whirl of different cultures. It was all recorded in sketches, letters home, and a personal journal, which his great-great-grandson, Jean-Francois de Buren, is now using to make a documentary retracing his travels. These sort of underlying themes are timeless. This idea of the search for self and traveling outside of your comfort zone and trying to find out what's real and what you believe and, and why others think the way they do and trying to reconcile these sorts of things. I think there's something that's in, uh, incredibly relevant about that at any time. On his first stop in Boston, Henri de Buren met Asa Gray, the most important American botanist of the 19th century. I visited Mr. Gray the other day. He received me with great warmth. He is, as you are well aware, a botanical genius, and at the same time, a great man in all aspects. His journey continued down the eastern U.S. to Cuba, and then Mexico City, where he captured a very different vista to today's capital. Next, it was Panama, and then Peru, where he joined an expedition leading the first wave of German settlers to a town near the Brazilian border. Of the 90 persons, more than half are German. The rest are French, Irish, Americans, Italians, Scots, Peruvians and Chinese. A veritable Tower of Babel, but a Tower of Babel that gets along rather well. In the final leg of his adventure, he travelled down the Amazon until it emptied in the Atlantic, all the while noting the lush surroundings and mapping the river's twists and turns. The life of a traveller is like that of life, a coin with two sides a flower with thorns. Please be reassured that I have not hurt myself too deeply on the thorns, and I do my best to keep my eyes on the beauty of these new flowers. 150 years on, his great-great-grandson is embarking on the same journey, keen to retell the story of Henri de Buren, a man who left on a trip of scientific discovery, and in the end, also found himself.